Yo, what's up, GG family? Long time no see. Say hi, dude. Hi, 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 hi. What's up, everyone? Uh, yeah, I haven't put out a video in a while. Uh, I love putting out videos. I also love live streaming, but as you know, I've mentioned it a couple times. You know, work, family, things like that. So sometimes I get to make, you know, five videos in ten days. Sometimes I get to make one video in a month. I don't know, but I, I'll, I'll probably never stop. Whatever interests me, I like to share. Um, so yeah. Anyways, why are we here today? We are here today because I got an invitation to Dolly 2. Um, if you clicked on this video, you probably know what it is. If you don't, then you might be uh, amazed like I was. Um, basically, Dolly 2 is um, somewhere where you go to just input your sentence of what you are imagining and it outputs an artistic piece right and if you're into nfts you might be even more interested about it um it's just it's, it's like i i don't know I, I i don't know how best to explain it i think i'll just i'll i think i'll just um show you so basically what i googled right here is well, like who made open ai because open ai is what uh, delhi uses um i guess maybe i don't know how they do it if there's like other things working together with it I assume it is, I assume OpenAI is like a base, I don't know. Anyways, um, you can see here that uh, the company's founders, uh, Altman, Tesla CEO Elon Musk, Greg Bachman, you might know these names, you might not, but you probably know about Elon Musk, so just like a background thing, so you know uh, kind of a little bit about the background of OpenAI that Delhi uses. And then of course there was Delhi 1, but this is Delhi 2, and as I said, I got invited and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So, this is DALI 2. Um, DALI 2 is a new AI system that can create realistic images and art from a description in natural language. Well, I shouldn't have tried to explain it, because right there is the explanation. Um, and basically, what you do is, you go to this website, right? If you get into the beta, and I'll show you at the end of the video, or towards the end of the video, how you can try to get into the beta, like I did. Um, you get like 50 credits, see up here? I got 46. Because each time you try to generate something, you get four results out of it, for it, so you can pick whatever you like most, but it takes one credit, right? So I'm gonna show you something I did, but also I wanted to, during this video, let it generate something. And being the NFT traders that we are, or DJ flippers, or whatever you want to call ourselves, or artists, or whatever, art connoisseurs, um, I try to get something that, that might resonate with us. So I want to see it generate happy, excited apes in the jungle, exchanging trading cards with each other, like trading cards is in my mind, like, you know, like we are trading and collecting NFTs, paintings and pop art can be seen laying around the floor and leaning on the trees. So I can it's like instead of a room with, with, with paintings and stuff, uh, it's like a jungle with apes, you know, cause it's topical and paintings around the jungle. And let, let's just see. Let, let's try. Let's see how it's gonna generate it. You can see here that it's that it's loading up. Um, while we do that, I can show you how to get into it. <laughs> Alright, I know I said towards the end of the video, but I can show you now. Anyways, um, I can post the link, and I will post the link under the under the uh, video. Um, you go to this address and you type in your data here and then after a while if you're lucky I guess you'll get an email like I did and you will be invited to create and you just click on it log in with your Google account or whatever and you will be in right um, and it already generated look at this this is crazy dude oh my god like this is crazy let's see I think I like the second one the most. You can also type in like the art style that you want. So you don't necessarily have to, you can type like uh, that you want it in pixel art or you want it in digital painting art, like, you know, like 3D renders look looking things. Um, but yeah, I'm looking here and I kind of like the second one the most. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mint this second one on object and I'll also leave a link down below I'll put it for like one Tezos um, ju just 
I just want to see like how people will react to it. Not only you, but also the people on on the object if they will be interested and things like that. I'm just amazed. I'm just amazed. Okay, that generated now. I can show you now uh, something else that I generated, um, and I I got this idea like about so so there's like there's like. Uh, this microphone right is the blue snowball and there's the blue yeti and things like that and it's very popular microphones that thousands of people use for streaming and stuff like that so i'm thinking there's some things that we spend so much time with and not only me but like a lot of people have certain products or certain materialistic things that they spend so much time with that it, they they become very important to them and i was like Let's take some immaterialistic things and try to see if Delhi can tell us how they would look like as a person, right? So if you're, if you're into streaming, for example, you know about the C920 webcam that like so many thousands, tens of thousands of people use. And like, it's my body, you know, the webcam is my body, you know, it helps me. And I want to see how it would look like as a person. So I was like, right, let's start a collection called They Have a Heart. Uh, sometimes things spend more time with you than people. They are your companions, they help you, they make you laugh. And I'm like, alright, let's try it. But first, let's try to see how Delhi sees himself, right? How does Delhi see himself? So I typed a prompt, um, something like uh, Delhi as a person in a server room with blinking lights, huge server room, uh, things like that. And it gave me these four outputs that are so amazing. And I decided to mint it as the start of my collection. Uh, I don't care if it doesn't sell or anything. This looked really good. It got me excited. Look at this. This looks so good, man. And I decided to make it like, uh, to mint them four and make like a tiny little story. Like, I am Sinister Deli. I am Delhi, this is how I see myself. I walk around huge hallways of databases with lightning speed, painting your heart's desires. Cause like that's what Delhi does, right? I have four faces. This is the one that serves you when your heart desires the more sinister things. Cause it kind of looks sinister, doesn't it? Right? And then I, I did like, I am playful Delhi. So the other one was sinister. This one is playful Delhi. Um, because it does look a little bit playful, this dude right here. Um, then I'm artistic Delhi. When, when when your heart desires the more artistic things and least least but not last yeah that's how I say it this shit looks like a desert which is the Tezos iconic first PFP collection to me it looks like a desert I even saw like a desert that has like this was translucent and like the innards of it looked kind of like this and I was like wow this is such a coincidence but it looks like it so I need to mint this too so this is the one that serves your heart when you create art uh, for Tezos, this is the Tezert Deli. So I decided to mint this. I just wanted to show you, look how, like they're even different. Like not, this one's different than the others. And you can put like any art style you want after it. It can even be like a photo and you'll hardly see that it's not a photo. Like if I can go back here maybe, and before I do, let me save this just in case, but I, uh, it saves it to the right anyway. But let me go back here. You can see the different kinds of styles it can do. Look at this. An expressive oil painting of a basketball player dunking depicted as an explosion of a nebula. This is beautiful. And then look down here. Down here. A photograph of a sunflower and so on and so forth. It actually looks like a photograph. Right? And then look at this. Two futuristic towers with a sky bridge covered in lush foliage digital art. Look at this. Looks so good. That's crazy. Synth style. Synth wave style. Whatever. It modifies some paintings if you want you can I think even upload your own I'm sure you can learn a lot about it but anyways that's what I wanted to show you um, and before I end this video yeah I'll leave all the links down below but before I end this video like always if you want to hang out with an awesome community a friendly community that talks about Tezos but also other NFTs and is very active join the GG family discord link will also be down below um, we'd love to hang out with you and uh, yeah, you can also show your art if you got art and there's tools here, uh, links that, that are useful and yeah, anyways, we help each other out, right? We ping each other when there's drops and things like that. Alright, I think that is it. Let's hope I can make more videos soon. Goodbye, have a nice day, thank you.